This little lead coming in there, I can see the from the fall, you know, one of those fall leads, but the snow is still leaving an impression there, and I can see some fresh cuttings here, so good spot to put a little slip. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we got a bit of luck here. We caught a bunny. Must have got in early last night. Died quickly. Caught right around the neck, so should be a nice rabbit for the stew. You think Willow? Bunny rabbit. Alright, so I got the rabbit all cleaned up there. Uh, really nice looking rabbit, fall early rabbit I'll call it. And uh, just washed it all off and got the back legs here and the back, uh, the front two legs, the rib cage, and of course the uh, two kidneys in the heart. So we utilized all of this rabbit. So what I'm going to put in here next is just a collection of uh, carrot, turnip, uh, potato and onion. Go ahead and just put these vegetables right on top. I put no seasoning whatsoever on this. This is the simplest rabbit stew you'll ever make. That's some nice fresh vegetables. Okay, I pick up these uh, little packets for Clubhouse is the brand. It's for slow cookers for beef stew, but of course it works on everything else, moose or uh, caribou stews or rabbit stews, whatever you want. I use it for tarming as well. So you just take one of these packs. This is the only spice we're going to put on this now. Just sprinkle that right over the top of your stew to be. Kind of give it even even coverage if you can. Because that's going to make its way down through all of those delicious vegetables and the rabbit. Um, <clears throat> as it starts to cook. In this case, you'd put one and a half or two cups of water. I'm gonna put about two cups of water in this now. Just kind of sneak it in and around the side there. Once that moisture works its way up around the vegetables and uh, it'll make all of the spices work their way back down through. Okay, now I'm gonna put it in the oven. I can put the lid on there. And put it in the oven on just really low heat, 170, for all day basically. I'm just going to head myself off to work here and I'll check this at lunchtime and I'll bring you guys in to have a look at it then. Okay, it's uh, lunchtime. Looking pretty good. It's been uh, cooking for about three and a half hours now on 170. Um, supper's not going to be, of course, for another five hours or so. So we'll just let her simmer along like she is. And uh, then we're going to put a little surprise end to this to make it look and taste even more delicious. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm soon going to take out the um, stew to have a look at it here. In the meantime, I'm going to make up what's called a duff to go on top of the stew. And it's a uh, dough-based uh, recipe, and it goes on top of the stew, and it actually crisps up or browns up, and you can eat that as part of your meal. All I got here is two cups of flour, and I got two teaspoons of baking powder to come with it. And now I'll just take some water, and I will mix it up till it got a consistency where I can kind of spread it on top of the stew.
Now it's starting to take shape. I'm going to take that now and I'm going to spread that right over the top of the stew. I'm going to turn the oven up so it'll brown up and kind of cook, you know, like a dough would. Okay, so we got our stew took out. Let's have a quick look at it here. Oh, it's not good. A bit of a stir at this point. It's the first time I've stirred it since I uh, put the seasoning on this morning there. So we'll give it a good old stir now. Except for the meat. We'll leave the meat on the bottom. Now, at this point, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to make sure all those seasoning is mixed in with the water there. And I'm actually going to make up a thickening just out of cornstarch and water and put in this uh, stew to thicken it up. And then I'm going to turn, I've actually, I've actually turned the oven up on 350 here to warm it up in preparation for putting this uh, duff that I've made to go right on top. Okay, so now I'm going to add some thickening. Again, just cornstarch and water. Mix that around. I can see it's starting to get thick already, and it will thicken up even more once the heat strikes it here. Oh, I can see that rabbit is starting to look really good and tender. Now, I'm even going to pop in a little bit of gravy browning here. If you'd like your stew a bit darker, nothing wrong with throwing a bit of that in there, plus it adds a little bit of flavor to it as well. In that browning, gravy browning. All right, our oven is just a bit warmed up, so now we're going to put on this duff right over the top here, like this. Kind of spread it out a bit right over the stew. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now put that in the oven now with the cover off, of course, and let that brown up for whatever long it takes for it to brown up. Just keep looking in there. That'd be 15 or 20 minutes or so, roughly. Okay, so the duff turned out just nice. Take a nice little bread on top. So we'll take this bread part off, or the duff part, sorry, off first, and put it to one side on this plate, and then we can serve up the stew and just break off a piece of this to go with your meal. Okay, that's what it looks like now with the duff taken off of it. I just stirred it all up, and you see the rabbit came to the surface there, so it's all tender. And now it's time to stir some up in a bowl with a little bit of duff.